Ditches of love we we sow In this online world we come to grow Mom and Pop will chart where hearts align Let's embrace the craft and let our souls shine Hey everyone, welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop Studio and we're going to work on that quick little baby quilt that we did up with a couple little panels. I'm um, borders, sorry, it was a panel. So this has, it was so cute, just had the alphabet on it. I really didn't want to do much with it because it was so cute just the way it is. So I just picked a couple of colors that I thought um, brought out the neutralness of the panel because we don't know uh, what, uh, what's coming yet. So yeah, that's what we did. Just a little gray, green, yellow, and black right out in the tips just to kind of make it fun, kind of frame it out a little bit, right? So what I wanted to do is since it has a little border here, I wanted to be able to do something kind of, you know, share the love. This is for a baby quilt, so, or for, for a baby. And I just want to, you know, fill with all the love. So what I did is I took my um, measuring tape and I laid it right across the whole top of the quilt and it came to 50 inches in the length. So on, of course I want to work in this little border section here. So I went and I halved it, which is obviously 25, and then halved it, which is 12 and a half, and then halved it, which is six and a quarter. And then that kind of gives me equal measurements when I want to work on the border because I want to, my idea is to come up at the little mark spots. This is just chalk. Come up at the little mark spot. Just come up and do like a little heart and then come back down and maybe just do a couple of little ones here to get me in between the next space. This is my other marking here, right there, where I'm going to come up and do some hearts. And then the center mark up here, when I'm trying to make a line up here and line up here, as that's where I'm trying to make it for that half a heart to come down down to that's like like my marking spot it can be a little bit fluid and organic in between those spots but I, if you can kind of get those ones a little bit more on the mark the, it'll make the border look a lot more evenly spaced in the end okay so let's uh let's get started i have some i think it's pale pale mist um green thread and it also really matches the back because uh, it's got that plaid okay we're going to start off to the side here Okay, taking our bobbin threads and bringing them up to the top. And we have our little tail. I've got it off the belts. It's all free will we nilly and uh, 13 stitches per inch. So I don't have a heart coming up right here, right now. I guess I could do a half a one or I could do screw one. That's not well. We're just going to do this loop, 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 and then at that mark here, be able to, to do that. Okay. Okay, so let's just do some little free mosies here. Two, three, four, and then we come up. Get a big enough part to the heart. Come back down. And then, sorry, I'm gonna move a little bit. I was not in the proper position. A couple little easy loops in between. And then up. Little mark for the, like the half part of the heart. Some loops. Some loops. Oops. And up. And then for the center of the quilt, I thought we were gonna get a little pleat there. Um, I'm just gonna do some free motion loops and hearts. Just fill it full of love. more looking like a pumpkin than a heart. <laughs> Let's try not to be so round on those that part there. Just straight up. There. Just kind of hold that back a bit. Helps prevent that little pleaty part. Oops. Oh, hello. Will we forget what we were doing here? Couple of threads there I'll be picking out.
Okay, so that is what's going to happen on the border, just kind of free willing it. And then when it comes to the center part, I am just going to do the same, but um, just do some hearts and loops. Okay, so really, really basic, easy stuff. So there. each other doesn't matter if you overlap I'm going around the letters is just so that they stay highlighted. They stay like nice and puffy. And congratulations to the young couple. This baby is due at the end of August. We're all having a fantastic week so far. I had a great weekend. We did a six hour stream on Saturday. If you want to go watch the VOD, that would be awesome. We had a special guest in the house, Miss Gwenny Simpson. And we worked on the professional tote. to breathe as you move down your project and experiment with the heart shapes and how to make the hearts. It's just like the stars. Right? Find out what works for you best. They're just the rest of the quilt. It's the same way. Add some parts. We just do it as a meander.
You get to breathe and move. Try not to have your grip too tight because that's just going to hurt your shoulders after a period of time, right? You've got to have a bit of a relaxed sort of environment about you. Okay, we'll leave it there because I got to do the roll and continue on. So I'm going to do the meander and hearts on the inside where all the alphabets are with the characters. A little loop meander with hearts on where the alphabets run down the side of the quilt. And then, of course, some hearts in the border. Okay, so they're a little bit free motion and funny looking, but <laughs> hey, that's what love is. It's free and funny looking. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, stay cool if you're hot. I know it's hard because you got a heat wave going on, but really appreciate you and watching our channel. And don't give us a thumbs up and go ahead and leave a comment. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care, and we'll see you soon.